It's all about God's love for us as his children and how we can return the favor. Top of the morning to you. When we read 1 John with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we read from the perspective of this disciple whom it says in John 13, 23, was one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. The scripture was written 80 to 90 years after Jesus' death and resurrection. John tells us in 1 John 1, 3 through 4, the reason he is writing to us is so we can realize and enjoy fellowship with God the Father and his son Jesus, and so our joy can be complete. His first point to make is that God is pure light, and there is no darkness in him, 1.5. John equates sin as darkness. In 1.7, he tells us Jesus' blood cleanses us from all sin if we choose to live and walk in the light. The first step in this is 1.9. We freely admit we have sinned and we confess our sins. God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins, cleansing us from all unrighteousness. 2.1 tells us Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, both for us and the sins of the whole world. The more we walk and conduct ourselves the way Jesus did so on the earth, 1.8 says the darkness will clear away and we shall see the true light shining. John warns us, though, in in 2.15-16, not to love the world or the things in the world, because the world contains the lust of the flesh, selfishness, the lust of the eyes, self-centeredness, and pride of life. After all, 3.1 says, We are named, called, and counted as God's kids. 3.6-7, No one who lives in God deliberately, knowingly, and habitually practices sin. Instead, we practice righteousness in obeying the message we heard at first in 3.11, love one another. In chapter 4, he expounds on this love as children of God. We are to love one another with a love that springs from God, who sent his only begotten Son so that we might love through him. The point being, if God loved us so much to send his only begotten Son to sacrifice his life for us, then we ought to love one another. If we love one another, it proves God lives in us. 5.3 tells us the true love of God is this, that we obey his commands. Word of encouragement, the disciple whom Jesus loved is emphasizing and fleshing out how to love God by keeping his his commandments and loving our neighbor as ourselves. In 3.18, this love is demonstrated not just in theory or in speech, but in deeds and practice. We can do this because in 4.4, greater is he who lives in us than he who is in the world. Have a great day.